Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. What's going on right now? Whoa, the devil in the reverse. Capricorn energy there. It's interesting how it flips itself back over, but I will take it as it definitely showed itself to us. Um, I wonder if there is something the Divine Feminine is moving away from and at this point feels they've they've snapped out of and don't even want to address, whether it's um, something in their own behaviour, whether it's their, something going on in their mental realm, their feelings, um, engaging in something to do directly with their masculine, but it's like, I'm, I'm done. That journey, that part of the journey is over for me. Um, not interested to the point I don't even want to hear about it in this reading. And yet there you are, Amelia, talking about it. Shut up. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, High Priestess, it's like, shh, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to know about it. I'm sorry, I'm just the channel. Spirit wants to talk about it. We've got um, Pisces energy here as well. Oh my goodness, Three of Swords <clears throat> and Judgment Reversed, Scorpio. Okay. <sighs> Well, it seems to me, yeah, the the collective, if this is resonating with you and you're watching as a Divine Feminine right now, there's something that you, as far as you're concerned, you're done with it, you've released it, you've moved past it, you've done your healing, and yet Spirit is saying, but judgment's still reversed, the Three of Swords are still upright, so I think that's why it's coming up. I wonder if there's something you're not seeing, something around how this relates to you, but um, I don't know if there's someone else involved, you know, aside from your twin, Let, let's just see. Okay, we've got the Hanged Man, more Pisces, but we have four out of five of these cards are Major Arcana, so this feels big. And it feels like, you know, your guides and spirits working very much with you. Yeah, look, we've got the Lovers, Gemini, Twin Flame card as well, of course. This can also talk about making a big choice, a big life-changing decision. Eight of Wands okay two of swords okay i see what's going on here i feel if this is resonating with you you recently have made a decision and spirit is asking you is your decision motivated by a desire to get away from something or to get towards something so okay i think psychologically speaking i haven't really looked into this but i have heard that we make our decisions based on pain which of two options for example or more is going to cause the least pain but what we assume we're doing is choosing the better option this one this one is going to bring more joy or more abundance if we take money for example i'm choosing this job because it pays more that will make me happier no it will help you to escape the pain of not being able to buy food or pay your bills do you see what i mean so that's actually i think what's going on on a deeper level when we make decisions psych psychologically speaking but Spirit is here saying, almost saying to you, is this what you're doing? But you think you're making a decision because you're moving towards something better, but you're actually moving away from something that causes more pain than the alternative, um, which is fine. That's a good thing to do. But Spirit's bringing this up for a reason. Um, I wonder, because look, this is what I see. Moving forward very quickly. Oh, hold on, look. I thought about it, making a decision. I've decided I'm moving forward. Eight of Wands, I'm moving forward very quickly. And then bam, we get a blockage, two of swords. Because we thought we made a decision, but when the lovers is upright for me, that decision, those choices are still options. We've not really confirmed it. We've, we're moving forward with the three of swords, with this confusion or this pain, and judgment is reversed. We're not as convinced as we thought we were. I think what Spirit's saying is, is what Spirit doesn't want to happen is for you to charge forward in one direction and be like, you know what? I didn't see this coming up, or I didn't anticipate feeling this way, or... I'm actually not happy. I just really needed a break from that other thing. So as an example, let's say you're saying, right, um, I really need to distance myself from my divine masculine. It's too much right now. I think I'll date that person over there. They seem nice. Um, and it's going very well for a while. And then suddenly you're hit with, this doesn't feel right. We're not connecting. I miss my masculine. That's what spirit's trying, trying to avoid and say, it might be that, yes, you need a break and you deserve a break or whatever it is. Just in my example, it's it's a time out. Um, have that, but it doesn't mean you have to move in, you know, towards something else. So it doesn't have to be that exact example. It could be anything. It doesn't even have to just be something romantic. Um, <clears throat> but there's a decision that's being made, I think, as a reaction to get away from something that has been heavy, restrictive, very serious. You know, it's probably impacted your life in many areas, not just this this connection. Um, so I get why you're wanting to step away. So does spirit. But it's like, well, 
I think we need a moment more to, to really analyze this and assess this because you might initially feel like, yeah, eight of wands, this is empowered, this is exciting. But we're not turning towards the fact that we still have this disempowering three of swords pain that we're carrying with us. Um, okay, let's see. Mm. Two of um at least the two of swords again, two of pentacles, three of wands reverse. So it could just be this has been going on for long enough. It's not manifesting. I'm not getting the action that I want to see. My divine masculine has options and they're not choosing me. The fact that I even feel like I'm an option is not good enough. Yeah, eight of cups. I'm done. I'm walking away. This is ridiculous. Um Really interesting, actually, that I'm using this deck because in this Age of Cups, look at the size of the mountain that we have to climb over to get to something, you know, a better situation. And it's almost like spirit saying, you might decide, right, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to jump as high as I can, grab onto the rock and start scaling my way up. And then you got halfway and obviously you didn't pack well, you've not got the tools you need, you're exhausted. You didn't factor in that it's actually higher than it looked from a distance. It's not spirit saying you shouldn't make the climb. But do we need to prepare more? Do we need to really know our reason? And it needs to be a reason more than I'm just not happy here because it's such a high mountain. It's got to be I'm not happy here. Plus, I can really clearly see where I'm going. I've got that crystal clear focus and intention. You know, if you go, if you're doing something, if you're studying something or practicing something, there will be times where you're not having the most fun or you come up against an obstacle and if you don't have your really strong reason for succeeding it might be enough to make you stop so spirit saying okay well let's just pause for a second and really think about why we're doing this um and then set off on the journey or make whichever amendments we might want to so some of you might be watching this thinking as an example again love my examples this is the last twin flame reading i'm ever watching i'm done with my divine masculine i'm moving on and um, fine okay you know great good for you that's that's you know you're more than entitled to to feel that way and do that but what spirit is saying is because of this intense connection it might not be a straightforward linear path it might not be the easiest thing so we really have to know where we're going why we why we want to get there why we need to get there how it's going to be better to keep our motivation up especially if it's a situation where in the past you've tried to walk away you couldn't you've tried to move on you couldn't you've tried to distract yourself you couldn't or whatever you know because that's just demoralizing and i'm not talking about to inflame i'm talking about anything you know if you decide you're going to try and have a healthier diet or start a new habit every day i'm going to wake up and do such and such for an hour before i start my day or just wake up earlier and we keep trying and, and, and feeling like we're failing it's that's that's not the way <laughs> that is so demoralizing um whereas actually it might just be that it wasn't the right timing or we bit off more than we could chew initially or the circumstances weren't right it's not necessarily a reflection of us that we can't do it um that i feel like i'm going off on the tangent so anyway <clears throat> three of swords and the eight of wands Mm. four of swords it's almost like i'm hearing a beat a pause so i don't know if there's a musical reference or a dance connection here for someone but it's almost like just give it one more moment just give it one more just give yourself that extra moment to pause to breathe like let one more beat pass um to give yourself time to reflect or to rest or whatever it is. And you can see this lamb's third eye is lit up. It has some kind of inspiration. Um, so you might feel that you ha you know everything to make this decision or you're convinced because the hanged man usually has, you know, hung around and, and thought about it, pondered, observed. But there's still something more um, to discover. Yeah, look at that six of swords okay so essentially whatever decision is being made here as i said right at the start whether it's um i'm, I'm changing this habit behavior mindset whatever it is i see you will stick with that because that's what you've decided and no one should be talking you out of that you know um but the message from spirit is maybe just slow ever so slightly or give yourself that extra moment to pause and reflect or double check because what might happen if you rush forward now is you sort of like a boomerang come back around to this position because there wasn't full preparation first. Whereas if you just give yourself that, that moment, a very brief moment, 
you'll have some kind of realization or maybe it's a moment to just confirm with yourself yes this is exactly what i want and i see you moving forward successfully six of swords um and interesting all of this black here almost mirrors the mountain but you know you'd have to climb up it now you can get in your boat and, and sail maybe even around it or something so it just feels like an easier transition an easier journey so if you do feel like you're sort of whipping yourself on your back to drive yourself forward that's not the way you will still move forward you will get to the place you want but maybe it's just about the last piece of information slotting into place or seeing something differently or something around timing um yeah, but there's something here I'm seeing the Divine Feminine Collective is not happy with. They've made a decision. They're moving forward. And that's being supported by the Divine. But it's almost like the Divine is saying, we want this to be a smoother journey for you. If it, feel, if it feels difficult, how you get around that difficulty is by pausing, being still, being kind to yourself, resting, not, you know, as I said, whipping yourself until you, you know, you get up and you keep moving forward. Okay, so let's see. What would the Divine Feminine say to the Divine Masculine? Um, I had put you on a pedestal and made myself small. Okay, so taking back some power. I'll just take the one at the top. Um, my answer will be I do. Okay. Messages from the feminine to the masculine, please. Um, I loved you more than I loved myself. Then I realized I didn't love myself. So that's kind of going with the putting you on a pedestal message there. I feel so alone. Why did you abandon me? Yeah, I mean, if the, the divine feminine is feeling like, you know, this obviously my answer will be I do. It makes us think of marriage, typically. Um, if the feminine is feeling that way and thinking about that level of commitment, but in the 3D, in the physical reality, seeing that the masculine maybe even chose something else or chose someone else or just tried to, to disengage from the connection, that's very hurtful, that's very painful, that's very um, isolating. And I can see why maybe the feminine is saying, okay, I've got to change something here. And what's changing will be individual, but um, something's got to change. Um, I cried all night, wondering why you weren't sleeping next to me. Um, I don't feel threatened by the karmic anymore. They are just playing their role. Yeah, so for some feminines, there's a feeling of the masculine chose the karmic or chose a new person who is being viewed as a karmic, um, who maybe even was brought in once this connection had already sort of got going in a 3D sense. Um, yeah, I wonder, I wonder actually for a lot of Divine Feminines watching, if the thing that's changing is how they view and feel about any third parties and perhaps trying to minimize the role or the effect that the third parties are having on the feminine, you know, changing their thoughts around the situation, um, maybe even feeling like in the past they were perhaps giving their power away to any third parties, whether whether the karmic is, you know, romantic or it could be parent, work, whatever, saying to themselves, you know what, the connection regardless of what influences are going on right now even if they're not ideal the connection is still just between me and my divine masculine we both know that we know it energetically we know it intuitively we know it within even if we're not speaking about it and that's what i'm going to focus on could be that okay so um let's go into the divine masculine and we'll do the same how is the divine masculine experiencing things right now and then we'll get messages from the masculine to the feminine as well Okay, so let's have a look at the experience right now within this connection from the perspective of the Divine Masculine. Okay, so what's the perspective please of the Divine Masculine? How is the Divine Masculine feeling at this time? How interesting. The Two of Swords, but reversed. Wow. With the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Isn't that interesting? We finish with the Two of Swords upright for the feminine, begin with it reversed for the masculine. Okay. Uh, Queen of Cups. You know, 
Well, let me pull one more card, but I feel like the masculine is feeling perhaps happier, better about things than the feminine right now. We've got the Queen of Cups on top of the Divine Feminine's Three of Swords. You know, both can talk about um, the heart space. Um, Queen of Cups is definitely a nicer energy to be in than the Three of Swords. Okay, let's see. King of Wands. Oh my goodness. And then we've got a Queen of Swords. Right. So for those of you, if you're watching as a feminine um, and the message about the karmic resonated, it looks like your masculine is thinking about this. You know, Six of Pentacles can be giving to more than one person at once. We've got a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Swords. So two feminine energies, whether we're talking about women or men here. Um, okay. Same message, really, if you're watching as a divine masculine. I wonder if you're thinking about two strong feminine influences in your life. Your divine feminine and somebody else. We've got the hanged man, Pisces. Yeah, really thinking about this balancing or this handing out to more than one person or this sort of... I don't know, let's see. Eight of pentacles reversed. It's starting to look more to me now like the, this queen of cups yes i think there's an influence of this in terms of how the masculine is feeling feeling very much um in their heart space excuse me feeling um positively about the feminine embracing those feelings um in quiet reflection about them but i also feel the queen of cups is how the masculine is viewing the feminine right now whether they're a water sign or not cats pisces scorpio it's more like they're seeing the feminine as being um consistent with their feelings but not having not trying to necessarily force them on the masculine being okay with just accepting i have these feelings fine i'm confident enough within myself that i don't need to run after you with my cup and try and force it on you it just is what it is you know um eight of wands okay so i feel like the masculine is inspired the, the king of wands is looking over at this queen of cups so the masculine how they're feeling within themselves right now is is very much in love very confident with this feeling quite spicy <laughs> confident within themselves wanting to take action looking at the feminine so the masculine could literally be watching the feminine whether it's in person online through connections that sort of thing energetically tapping in and enjoying that experience right now um really keen to connect to take some action but still sitting down nonetheless still pondering the other thing i'm seeing here from the masculine is um really having a look at the situation they find themselves in finally with this two of swords reverse facing fact and saying this is difficult this is kind of awkward to say the least i'm i'm trying to give equally to two um feminine energies here or straight up maybe two women and i know who i want to be giving to the one i'm looking at here um so what do i do about it and it could be that the time attention effort energy is split equally between two it could be that this masculine is maybe giving more attention in a practical 3d realm to one energy one person versus giving emotionally and energetically or, or vibrationally to another it could be that as well but it's the feeling of right that i see what i'm doing i see what's going on here i want to make a choice what do i do about it so let's have more of a look <laughs> their first thought is maybe i should just try and be alone for a minute catch my breath which isn't necessarily a bad thing Ooh, the empress reverse divine feminine taurus libra energy can also be a uh, spouse mother a child that sort of thing let's see yeah page of pentacles reverse because we've got these two together and for me the page of pentacles specifically is the like manifested child i'm looking at this as for some of you if you're watching as a feminine um your masculine might have a karmic who they have a child with if you're the masculine this might ring true to you um yeah and feeling like perhaps that's a situation they'd like to separate from um to be honest it feels as simple as that um i think we should go to this king of wands and have more of a look at what's going on internally um let me see i want i mean the divine masculines as well for some watching maybe you're looking at your divine feminine and seeing that they have a third party and feeling that 
I can't even finish thinking the sentence through. I've gone blank, which tells me that's probably not really the case, but started so I feel like I should finish um feeling like your divine feminine has a karmic and you're waiting to see if they choose you but why do we have two feminine energies then you know um let's have a look at this king of wands let's take all of these four of cups knight of cups reverse so seeing that the divine feminine is a gift that they have not taken enough action towards i do think there's a strong urge to have fun with the feminine um like go on a date reconnect have some nice conversations you know bring back the the joy enjoy each other's company that sort of thing eight of cups reverse so i wonder if the masculine feels that they pulled back or walked away or emotionally withdrew um and feels that they want to come forward and connect and look we've got the ace of cups at the end so this masculine it looks to me is feeling like there was a big fat missed opportunity here whether they walked away um, or circumstances got in the way and they're really focused on having this opportunity back with the Divine Feminine. Um, Eight of Wands, possibly reaching out right now or considering reaching out. Um, let's see. The Star, Aquarius, hoping, stressing out, Nine of Swords, the Hermit, Reverse, Virgo, because they know they've got to come out of Hermit mode. They know they've got to take action if, you know, they want to see action happening. Um... This is very interesting because the message feels clear. It's like the masculine is saying, I want this new beginning with the feminine. If I'm in a third party relationship, I know I don't want the third party, I want the feminine. That's very clear. Also showing up as this action taking inspired, confident king of wands. Also understanding if we're to reconnect, I feel like it's probably me who needs to reach out or do something, but not doing it. I'm not seeing the action. Um, I don't know if we're looking at like, uh, the, the moment before the masculine says right let me get get off my throne and actually do something but it's like all of this knowing and I'm thinking okay right we'll go on then but I'm not seeing it why not what's going on here the emperor reverse the divine masculine and look, with the, way I place, with, sorry, with the way I placed it here, we've got the Empress and the Emperor and the Page in between. So maybe this is why there is a concern about the child or someone who's dependent upon them or a situation that's dependent, like it could be a business or whatever it is, or work. Um, it's like, maybe maybe that's the reason that they're not taking the obvious action, obvious as far as they're concerned. And I'm noticing with the Empress and the Emperor placed in this position, the Empress is looking across at the Emperor who is looking away. So whoever this third person is, whoever, you know, whoever this mas your masculine, if you're feminine or the mas if you're the masculine watching, whoever you, you're, oh, I've really made that complicated. Right. Whoever this is that the masculine is connected to that's not the feminine, this person seems to be more interested in the masculine and more attached to the masculine than the masculine is to them whether it's a karmic a boss a parent a friend whatever um so i think maybe that's why the divine masculine isn't taking this action towards the feminine because there is um something or someone that they're having to consider who seems to be needing them like a child a family member um maybe they have as i said they've started some sort of business or project together the masculine in this third party and you know what's really interesting is although we do have technically the card of the divine feminine and the divine masculine here that's not how i'm reading it and i don't feel it that way i but it's showing up you know we could look at it that way and i wonder if in the past the divine masculine met this person and thought you're the one or you're my divine feminine or something like that or thought they could replace their divine feminine with this person and it would be fine they wouldn't miss the divine feminine but because all of these cards are reversed it's like that situation got turned on its head and they realized that wasn't true it wasn't the connection i thought it was or was going to be i couldn't just use this situation to move on from my actual divine feminine um okay I do think the Divine Masculine is feeling quite empowered simply because they've finally taken off the blindfold and are looking at things and it's like their fears aren't getting the better of them anymore. Even if what they're seeing is that it is a tricky situation, at least they can see it clearly, they've faced it, you know? 
Okay, so what would the Divine Masculine say to the Feminine, please? Messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Um, I'm hearing, I don't know, hearing, feeling, seeing. I'm seeing the Seven of Swords and I'm getting the feeling maybe from Feminines watching and I'm hearing something about being sneaky. So I'm getting lots of things at once. But these, the message essentially is... Yes, they might have someone else. They might be attached to, to something else. But why can't they still message me? It didn't stop them before. So I don't know if for some of you, if you're the masculine watching, you might have contacted or spoken with or reached out or interacted with in some way your feminine whilst there was someone else around who would not have been happy with that. But you did it on the sly. Or if you're the feminine, you experienced that from your masculine and it was kept quiet. Well, I feel the masculine now is saying I've evolved. I don't want to be doing that. No more Seven of Swords sneaky energy. If I'm communicating, I don't want it to be something that could come back and bite me or bite you. I don't want it to have to be hidden. Um, so yeah, that's just something that came through. If I give in to you, you will have the power to break both my heart and mind. I can't survive that. Okay. Um, the way we are so in sync scares the hell out of me. I'm terrified. Having, you know, now I've read these messages, if you look at how this King of Swords is looking at this Queen of Cups, he's pulling his head back, it's almost like um, he is a bit sort of cautious of her. Um, and that might seem a bit crazy if you're watching as a feminine, because you might be saying, but my divine masculine is so confident and powerful and strong, but maybe um, they feel nervous around you. Um, I feel that in, a, in many cases, though, this might have been a past energy that, that led, or one of the things that led to this masculine trying to maybe ignore the connection or replace it or something like that. Um, I miss you so much that it still feels like there is a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that, though. I heard something about the theatre. I don't know if there's a divine masculine who's connected with the one or involved with or enjoys the theatre or something like that. Um, when I thought about how bad I hurt you, I literally cried. Oh my gosh, will you marry me? That's crazy because for the feminine we have my answer will be I do. Wow. Uh, I have to improve myself and my life to feel worthy of you. I think they have been doing that. You know, that I don't want to be that sneaky person anymore or do any of that sneaky behaviour that you've seen. Um, if you're the feminine um, and if you're the masculine, you know, I don't want to do that. I was taught that I had to earn love by pleasing people. Wow. So the masculine saying I haven't been living in the most authentic way. I've probably um, put my own desires on hold to fulfill other people's. <laughs> Look, you make me so nervous. Exactly. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. Yeah. So, um, you know, the divine masculine might come across as this confident king of wands, unshakable, knows, you know, how amazing they are and yet when they're around their feminine or think of the feminine they get incredibly nervous and if you are the divine feminine you may have felt like well my masculine is someone that when they want something when they want something they go for it and they're not going for me so fine i you know i guess that tells me what i need to know but actually i think the masculine is saying it's not quite that simple um and if you're a masculine watching, I've been seeing more of you popping up in the comments, which is great. Please, you know, if that rings true, let us know in the comments. Let us know your thoughts either way. Obviously, feminines as well, of course, please do. Um, so, I will leave this here. But thank you so much for watching. I hope it resonated and I will see you soon. Bye.